a lot of these poems are kind of, you could see the progression of my adolescence. <laughs> still progressing. This poem is entitled Balls. <laughs> Either in an attempt to add a creative spin to her life of folding tube socks, or because she saw the world this way, my mother liked to say to other mothers at church that she knew the seasons not by snow or heat or how high the river was, but by what balls her sons were playing with and when. No clarifying prefix, not footballs or baseballs, basketballs, tennis balls, but just the words, my sons and their balls. Maybe this was how she made sense of her adolescent brood, the strange odors our bodies carried, sweat calcified into salt on our foreheads, soiled gym shorts we hung out windows to freshen, pheromones cradled in the seats of our yellow jeans. My mother wanted readers. In the least, she wanted us to shower, but at best, she wanted us to read would drop us off at the library once a week and tell us to get lost in the stacks. We'd find our way to the periodicals and fight over Sports Illustrated. They always displayed the newest copy, but you had to ask the librarian for the swimsuit issue. None of us had the balls to do that. Instead, we pulled our money and sent Jason, the oldest, into Plaid Pantry to buy three copies for Mr. Zool, who stared down his shaming nose before taking the moist bills from Jason's balled-up fist. We wedged our copies in our belt lines and ran home, dribbling basketballs out front of our strides, the rhythmic thump, pause, thump, pause, thump, echoing all the way to our bedrooms. <laughs>